Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel for that matter. If you are brand new here and thank you for taking your own time out to check out this movie documentary review on Fastest DeLorean in the World 2 or Part 2. Anyway, yeah. I was really excited to check this one out and again it was a recommendation by my good friend Pete Hardy because this is also directed, written, cinematography, everything done once again by Adam Contras and it is the follow on to the first part which is the fastest DeLorean in the world and of course if you know how that ends this is how this one starts and it is kind of the follow on to the story and kind of wraps the story because if I'm going to explain kind of like a plot so basically following the events of the fastest DeLorean in the world this second part is summing up everything that happens in that first part answering questions and also answering any underlying questions about what happens right at the end of that and sums this all into one which is ultimately like an emotional roller coaster i would say so yeah i really enjoyed this outing what i will say in terms of my positives is once again this was a riveting, I had a blast watching this. I really loved seeing like the fallout and seeing the events of the first one and how that kind of transpired into the second one as it does take like a different turn and not just a rinse and repeat of the first part either because the first part is solely focused on making DeLorean the fastest DeLorean in the world. The second part is following on from the fallout of that but also Adam Contra shares some more like personal stories and kind of like the journeys that him and Donald Full Love have been on since the fallout of the first movie. So I really like the element of that. It wasn't like a rinse repeat, but also the fact of it did answer any underlying questions that there is. Now, some people may say that there isn't any answers, but there, there definitely is. Anyway, what I will say also is again, Adam Contrast and Don Full Love in this. And again, their chemistry is just there. You know, you can tell that they're great friends, which is awesome. And we also get a couple of surprise guests of Jason Aaron and Joe Walser, if I pronounce those names correctly. And they have been involved in Back to the Future projects, like Back in Time, for example. Or Joe Walser has also made and restored the original DeLorean multiple years ago. So it was really cool about Adam talking about his DeLorean journey with Joe because you knew that he could relate in that process. And yeah, this is definitely, I guess, more aimed towards Back to the Future fans in a sense because it touches on previous Back to the Future documentaries and the people involved in those. So maybe more Back to the Future fans who have watched more documentaries like that can definitely relate more with this outing. But you still have to see the first part to check this one out. You can't just go into this one blindly because it's not about something completely different. It follows on from the first one. But yeah, once again, I found myself really interested in this. It has got a little bit of a shorter runtime than the first one, but at the same time, I was never bored for any of these. I found myself highly entertained. I thought that these were, again, just well put together. Really enjoyed them. Really enjoyed the journey just overall. And Adam Contrast's stories, I could just generally just sit down and listen to them all day, to be honest. He did crack out uh, some alcohol in both outings. And at the same time, I kind of fancy the beer. <laughs> uh, one thing I've also got to mention is this does have profanity in it. So if you don't like swear words, for example, yeah, yeah, then definitely don't check this out. But what I will say is, again, in terms of any negatives, again, if you're an absolutely massive Back to the Future fan, and again, you want all Back to the Future film references, it's not in here. This is not what these documentaries are about. And yeah, you know, some people are going to say, Maybe some other comments about the kind of the twist in the first movie and kind of like leads into the second one. But being quite frank with you, at the end of the day, there's always two sides to a story. But there's plenty of evidence shown in these to show that there's opportunities for that other side to be heard, but they don't get taken advantage of. So in reality, it's all laid out in front of you. Nothing's really hidden, going to be completely honest, but that's my own personal opinion. But anyway, I enjoyed The Fastest DeLorean in the World 2, or Part 2. Yeah, I would generally recommend both of these movies. I will say that I enjoyed The Fastest DeLorean in the World a little bit more than this one. So, my overall score for Fastest DeLorean in the World 2 is... So yeah, if you enjoyed this movie, please give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you already haven't. And until the next time that I see you, I'll be seeing you later.